Hey guys, so I am here with a um, hamburger. They have these um, burgers at this burger station. I've ate here once before and like it's really good. So I was with my a hamburger today and I'm like, well, I can come by here. Oh my God, there's like a wasper that was like flying around trying to get in my window. But anyways, it's just a regular hamburger. And then I got some fries to go with it. So, hope everybody's doing good. Let's try one of these fries. Mm, these are good. Oh man. I don't know what kind of sauce this is, but it's really good. So, oh my gosh, it's so huge. Oh my, this looks just wonderful, guys. Look at that. Yes, please. There's like no, um, mm. this is good. So it's my week without my kids. I'm starting to get like over it, like I miss them really bad. And um, I'm ready to get back to work, like seriously. So big, it's a big hamburger. But it's so good. <clears throat> I'm so glad it's warm weather now. This is the the best burger I've ate in a while. It's crazy. It's crazy good. Mmm. I think this sauce is for the burger. I think. I don't know. We're going to try it. Oops, that's not a lot. I can't get over the fact that how big these are. It's so huge. Mm hmm. I'm going to have onion breath and I don't care. Oh well. Oh well. So I don't have that much longer until I go get the injection for my back. Like a week and a half or so. I think. I don't know. can't wait to get it going and hopefully it'll work and then I can get back onto my regular schedule because I'm getting stir crazy 
like heck it sucks mm. I'm really glad that I came and got this because this is like so good They've had this place here for a long time. <clears throat> and I've only been here like one time, but their burgers, I need to start coming more often because their burgers are really good. It was raining earlier today, and then it went away, and now it's real pretty out. I would so love to be camping right now. I love to camp. It's so fun. I love it. Mm. I probably should have got fries because <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to eat them all. These fries aren't your typical, like, regular fries. Mm, but they're good. Look at this, Bob. Heck yeah, guys. I hadn't done an eating video in a while, so I'm like, I need to do an eating video. I still watch them, but I was like, I need to take time and do an eating video. My foot is so annoying, like, just sitting here, my feet, my left foot, it's just like tingling, like little needles all in it. I hate, I hate when it does it, it's so weird. This back crap really affects the person. It's been horrible. Y'all are probably like, I'm so over here in that, but I can't help it. Like, I feel like my life has been totally put on hold. Which it has. I can't work. Can't do crap. I'm having one of those blah days where I'm just over it. Truthfully. But I know there's always other people that are worse off. Oh, man. That car sounds like it's about to blow up. God help them. Got some sweet tea, y'all, which is divine. So freaking good. This tomato is kind of 
<clears throat> Angie, if you're watching this, I seen your tomatoes on Facebook. The was it the Granger County tomatoes? Oh my gosh, I was so jealous. They look so good. I used to love getting like the Tommy toes from the garden and like regular um, tomatoes and just like putting salt on it and just eating it. Oh my gosh, I used to love doing that. Fresh, straight from the garden, y'all. So good. That mater ain't cutting it. I used to love doing gardens and my kids used to help too whenever we had a garden like a long time ago. We would put one out every year, me and Justin and the kids. And I'll never forget though. Oh my lord. So <clears throat> Justin had this corn, and he was, like, going to, um, like, get the corn off the stalk things or whatever they're called. Um, and the next morning when we got up, we went out, or he went out there, every one of the corns were gone. It was so funny, though. Well, I mean, it was funny, but it wasn't because I was wanting some of that corn. But I think raccoons or something got a hold of them. I was like, uh oh. The best was like steamed broccoli and the potatoes, like straight from the ground. Oh my gosh, they're so good and fresh. I'm sitting here eating and then talking about food. That's crazy. I love food. doing gardens. Gardens are fun. Watching stuff grow. Are these vines are like so good and fresh. I'm not too really like fond of this sauce. I don't even know what it is. It's okay but it's different. I love onions too, they're so good. I was really hungry. totally use a nap. I'm good noticing to just pack up here in a minute. Well, I don't have nothing to take, but I may go see my brother and my aunt today. Like, I was thinking about doing that yesterday. I didn't get to it, but I'm really thinking I'm not today. miss my family a lot so much that it hurt so bad but it is what it is it is what it is guys I'm totally not going to finish these fries I don't even know where I got fries. I really don't. I never eat them that much. Oh my gosh. These are bread and, but bread and but butter pickles, I think. Mm. I 
I think I'll go over there. Because I want to see if my mom's flowers are blooming yet. Anyways, guys. I know I probably bored y'all in this video, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm not really in the mood to talk a whole lot. I'm just, I'm ready to go back to work. I'm ready to, like I said, I'm ready for my life to be somewhat normal again. And it's freaking killing me. Like, it was okay for, a, like, a week or so the first month. Excuse me. And now it's like, I'm just so over it. It's like, I get off of work because of my back, and then it's like, boom, 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 boom. One thing right after the other. And I freaking live, I need to take, live on this crap. I'm just, I'm over, I'm sick and over taking this too. Like, I'm over it. I'm not the type of person that just sits and if I'm down and sick, like, like with that vertigo when I had that, like I had to lay for a while, but even with that, it's like I can't just sit and just kind of try to relax because I'm just a very, I don't know if you would say hyper person, but like I've got to be doing something. I can't be just sitting. And I, I've always been that way. Even with like, when I had my heart surgeries and stuff, like I had to be doing something. And when my mom died, oh my gosh, when my mom died, I literally, I, I got so bad depressed at first, but like I literally every day as soon as I got up and got, like, got Katie and Gracie, like, fed and, like, you know, all of us cleaned up and stuff, I would literally get us in the car and go see either my mamma or Justin's mamma every day. And I've done that for the longest. And she, she had called me one time. Maddie did. God love her little soul. She helped me so much. But... She's like, you're gonna have to get it, start getting out, and come down here and, and and see me and bring them kids down here. And sure enough, every day, I would I would get out and do that and sit with her and would go like to eat sometimes and would go shopping and she helped me so much and I I miss her too. Justin's mama and nanny were amazing women. Like they were. God, Maddie. Her, Maddie was so much like me. Her personality. She was outgoing, but she was very outspoken. She would tell you what she thought. If, if something wasn't right, anything. She was very outspoken. But me and her became really close. Like, she was like a mamaw to me, but we were, like, so close. And even when, like, me and Justin divorced or whatever, like, every time she would see me, she welcomed me in and I'll never forget it. One day we were, I had to go pick up, I think Gracie or somebody. And her and Gracie were like this. They were like so close, so close. And um, so I had went and picked her up and, and Maddie was like, I'm gonna tell you. She said, I don't care what anybody thinks or anything like that. You are welcomed here. You're still part of the family and you can come here anytime you want. I never did go around that much just because like, you know, I just didn't, I don't know. But whenever she got sick and was dying, I went up to the hospital to see her. And she, like, she remembered me. She took her little hands and patted my hands and hugged on me and loved on me. And um, I got to spend a little time with her then. And then, like, when she was, like, really sick and stuff, I went to her house. And it was hard for me to go there because all the family was there. But, like... I had to give her my, you know, farewell goodbyes. So, I miss her, like, so bad. 
just like I miss my grandma. <clears throat> it's so hard for me to go over there because it brings back so many memories. Like, so much. I know, I'm emotional. Have been all week. <clears throat> Can't you tell by this lovely beauty? Not really, but... I think it might do me some good to pack up and just drive down there and see my brother and my aunt. I've not called them, so I don't even know if they're home, but I'm just going to drive and show up. That's what I'm going to do, because I get tired of sitting in my apartment by myself. I'm going stir crazy, like legit. Legit going stir crazy. Anyways, guys, that was a, I don't know, I just started talking randomly, didn't I? Anyways, hope y'all are having a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. I may try to vlog up there some. I might go up and go up to the graveyard and all that good stuff. I probably will do that first. I think I will. I think I'm going to drive up to the graveyard. Oh, goodness. Anyways. Hope everybody's doing good and um, I'll talk to you guys later.